Welcome to Syrian Educational Platform. My name is Helen Shalhoun from Huda Sharawi School. Today is Tuesday, 7th March 2023. Grade 4, Unit 14. The title of our lesson is Sports. We will talk about sports. Let's start. Now, we have here our friends and uh, we will talk about their activities with, uh, which they did yesterday. Now, we have here Taim. Taim played basketball yesterday. Jude scored a goal. Dan kicked the ball by his knee. Kicked the ball. We have here the girls jumped rope. We have here Adam dived in the sea. Finally, we have uh, these uh, children, uh, the separated, the uh, race truck, okay? Now, tick or cross, remember the last images. Then uh, decide if uh, this statement is true or false, tick or cross. Now, Dan dived in the sea, remember who dived in the sea? Number two, Tain played basketball. Dan kicked the ball. The girls scored a goal. Jude scored a goal. They sprinted in the race track. Now, the answers. Number one, Dan dived in the sea. No, not Dan, Adam dived in the sea. Number two, Tain played basketball, yes. Dan kicked the ball, yes, tick. The girls scored a goal, no, not the girls. Jude scored a goal. Jude scored a goal, yes. They sprinted in the race track, yes. Now, read and do the text below. The football match started at 5 o'clock yesterday. We have yesterday a football match. The star team, we have two teams. The first team is the stars team. The second team is tigers team. The stars team and the tigers team played. First, Danny kicked the ball to Sammy. Sammy passed it to Taim. Taim wanted to score, but the goalkeeper stopped the ball, stopped the ball. There was no score for half an hour. Half an hour, no goal. The players, the players worked hard to score, and finally, the Stars won. The Stars team won. The score was 2-1. Danny and Taim scored the goals. Well done, the Stars team. So the Stars team are the winners. Now, tick or cross. Remember the last text. Remember. Now, first sentence. The match started at 5 o'clock. Number two, the goalkeeper scored a goal. Number three, the Stars team scored two goals. Finally, four, Danny scored the two goals. Just Danny? Now the answers. First, tick. Second, cross. Third, tick. Fourth, cross. Look at these images. We have here an hour. Which picture talk about an hour or describe an hour? We have here 16 minutes. So 16 minutes mean an hour. We have here 30 minutes. 30 minutes, a half hour. We have here goalkeeper. The word is goalkeeper. We have here a player. We have here a goalkeeper. So we will choose the 
uh, right picture with, uh, which de describes the word. Now the answers. An hour, A, goalkeeper, B. Our grammar today will talk about simple tense, simple past. We use simple past tense when we talk about activities, activities or actions which started in the past and finished, started and finished. Okay, and now I am talking about these activities which started in the past and finished in the past, okay? The adverbs or key words which uh, help me to use simple past tense. Yesterday, when I use yesterday, I mean past simple tense. That something happened in the past, happened in the past and finished in the past. Yesterday or last week, last month or last year. Uh, that keywords. Form, we have here a form of sentence. How can uh, I make a, a sentence using simple past? First, I should uh, put the subject. The subject uh, may be a noun, maybe, maybe a pronoun, maybe Helen, maybe she, maybe I, okay? Uh, plus verb two. We have in English verb one or verb two or verb three. Verb one is a zero verb, uh, present verb. Uh, verb two is a past verb, something that happened in the past, happened. Uh, plus rest of sentence, okay? Maybe I need the object, maybe I don't, don't need an object and so. Example, she wanted the, uh, she watered the flowers yesterday. Watered the flowers yesterday. She is the subject. Water, just water is a verb. I added ed so it will become simple past tense. Watered yesterday, the flowers yesterday. Yesterday is the keyword which describes simple tense. We have here a test. Write the verbs in the past. We have kick, sprint, want, save, dive, work, play. Now, we will put these verbs in the past simple. Uh, look here, we have here, we have here a regular verbs. Regular means that these verbs, uh, when I will uh, put uh, or change these verbs into past simple, I will add ed at the end of each verb, okay? Maybe the verb has e. The verb has e, so I will put it just d. But when the verb don't have e, don't have e, doesn't have e, so I will put e d. The, the answers look kicked, kicked, sprinted, sprinted, wanted, saved, saved. We have here. Original E, so I will put the just D. Dived. We have here original E, so I will put the just D. Dived. Worked. Worked. Played. Played. Now, look at these four activities. She, basketball, you will put here verb using past simple tense. They, look at the picture, which help, helps you to uh, uh, choose the correct verb in the track. We, hi, he in the sea. Now the answers. She played basketball yesterday. Look, she played. We put the verb with ed. They raced in the track. Raced, look, raced. The verb race end with e so i will put the just d at the end of the verb jumped we jumped high he dived in the sea now
reorder the, the sentences. We have here four sentences uh, in the past simple tense. Uh, now, before you order, reorder this sentence, you will uh, remember the form of sentence in the past simple. We will start uh, with a subject. We will put at the first the subject. Which the subject yesterday or played, they tennis, jumped, rope, she, last week, played, Volleyball, they, yesterday, watched a match, we, football, week, last. Now, we will put first the subject to the verb to, okay? Then the rest of sentence, finally, we will put the keyword or the adverb. Remember the adverb we talk about, uh, talked about yesterday, last month, last year, last week. Okay? Now the answers. First, they played tennis yesterday. They played, there is a subject, verb to, complement, adverb, full stop. She jumped rope last week. They played volleyball yesterday. We watched a football match last week, last week, yesterday, last week, yesterday. We put the adverb at the end of sentence. Look and reorder. We have here uh, sports. We will reorder the letter to make a word, okay? Look. Football, diving. Jumping rope, tennis, basketball, sprinting. You will reorder the uh, letters to make a word. Now, the answers. Football, diving, jumping rope, sprinting, basketball, and tennis. Circle. Look at this picture. What did this boy do? He cheer, play or score? What is? It's a ball or it's a match or it's a medal? Now the answers. Cheer. A medal. Read and do the text below. We have here a conversation. What did you watch? I watched a tennis match. When did it start? It started at 8 last night. Who played in the match? Two players, Sarah and Lily. Sarah and Lily. Who did you cheer for? I cheered for Sarah. Did she win? Did Sarah win? No, she didn't. Lily did. Lily is the winner. Now, to the correct answer. She played or watched or started a tennis match. Number two, the match started at 8 in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Two players, girls or boys or balls, remember, Sarah and Lily, got the medal. Who has got the medal? Sarah, Lily, I. Now the answers, watched in the evening. Girls and Lily. That's our lesson today. Thank you very much.